Yeah. All right. So take off straight up and down. And now shoot away. And fly around. Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Check it out, I finally got the Airfix Harrier Jet. That's the Airfix Quick Build Harrier Jet. And if you hear any strange noises in the background, which always happens whenever I start to film something, if you hear any strange noises in the background, I am recording the audio track for this down at the local municipal airport. And if you ask why am I at the airport, because I'm fixing to get on a small plane and take a quick one hour hop to the other end of the state. It's easier for me to fly out of a small municipal airport than to go into the big international airport. You can still catch the same kind of planes to the same places, but this is closer to my house. And really, if you're going to be in something with propellers on it, you might as well be at a small airport. It's easier that way, right? So, ignoring the sound in the background, which I guess the whole airport thing is okay, because we're talking about an airplane! If you're saying, what, 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 audio and visual track? Well, we just filmed this in the studio, jumped in the car, headed over the airport, and the plane's not here yet. Where normally we would do it all in the studio, we were kind of in a hurry, and sure enough, we have time to do it here in the terminal. I wouldn't really even call this a terminal, I would call this a shack on the edge of a runway. Yeah, it's really that small of an airport. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's uh, hit the background on this. If you remember, Leo Kim from Leo Kim Video, he says, Hey, have you seen those new Airfix airplanes and jets? And I said, No, what are you talking about? And then he posted a video about it. And then I liked what I saw, and I went online, I did a little research, and, you know, the first time he mentioned them to me, a couple weeks prior to his video, I should have paid attention, and I should have looked them up. And then he sent me a few, and I said, wow! So I took the ones he sent me, and I went and bought all the other ones they make in the Airfix Quick Build product line. Now the key here is, you got to get it from the Quick Build product line, and those are the ones that are a combination between brick jet and standard model. Airfix is known for making standard models, not brick sets, so this is an amazing combination. And as I've posed recently, I have said, you know, this might be the future of the brick world, and people say, no, no, it's not the future of the brick world because these are too specialized. Well, right now they're too specialized, but what if you had hundreds of different sets like this out there? They may not be so specialized. Either way, we have a few more to look at, and then I will have shown you all of the ones they make. They make a bunch of airplanes, and they make a few jets, and they make one Challenger battle tank, which I got and put together and was not overly impressed with. Although it did have an amazing feature, the deck wasn't one whole piece, and it wasn't a bunch of little pieces. It was like four leafed over pieces. It was a really good concept. The other brick companies need to look into doing this sort of thing. Because the problem with brick tanks is sometimes it's a bunch of teeny tiny little pieces put together for a deck and it's not very sturdy. Or sometimes it's one big giant flat piece. You know, that's kind of, I don't know, I, I don't like that. So this is a combination of them. Just like these Airfix quick build sets are a combination of a model set and a brick set. This is a combination of the one big flat piece and the teeny tiny little pieces. It's a very cool idea. And we will look at that more closely when we do the review video for that Challenger tank. Challenger tank? Why a Challenger tank? Because Airfix is a British company from the UK. So their sets are basically of British airplanes and jets and the British tank. But they do have, I think it's a Lamborghini, some kind of fancy sports car. I ordered it. It's not here yet. I ordered it two or three weeks ago and it's not here yet. I can mail a small package to London or even Ireland and it'll get there in between two and four days. Pretty much the same length of time it takes to get from the west coast of the U.S. to the east coast of the U.S. But for some reason, and you'll kind of laugh at this, for some reason it takes weeks to get something the other direction. And it really has nothing to do with distance these days. Because with a plane you can jump on it, you can be anywhere in 20 hours, 12 hours, 18 hours. So it's not really distance anymore. It has a lot to do with each individual country's customs service, customs division, as well as how their mail and parcel service works. When I used to give away a lot of Lego sets in contests, I would send something to Ireland and UK and the United States, East Coast and the South and Canada. 
And it was funny because it would take longer to get something up to Canada, even though I lived four hours from the Canadian border, it would take longer to get something to Canada than it would to get it to Ireland. The average mailing time from where I lived up to most places in Canada was almost two weeks. If it got there in a week and a half, well then that was going good. Like I said, UK, London, Ireland, I could get something there in less than a week, less than a business week. Uh, the quickest I think was two days and the longest might have been five or six days. Normally it was between two to four days to get something across the Atlantic Ocean, across the entire United States and then the Atlantic Ocean quicker to do that than to go across one U.S. state and up into Canada. Wow. So distance really doesn't mean anything anymore because you might be watching this from halfway around the world, right? Distance means nothing. So with that said, I'm still waiting on this Airfix quick build sports car, fancy sports car, and I'm really thinking I'm not going to be really impressed with it because I wasn't really impressed with the battle tank. It wasn't bad, it just wasn't super, super good. Now these airplanes and jets they make, oh, they're amazing. And yes, they're all British except for a few German Messerschmitts. Because truly, if you're going to have a British Air Force or British World War II planes, you got to have the German planes. Yes, it's ingrained deeply in the British psyche. Yes, that's just how it is. And really, a couple of the Messerschmitt 109s are just as cool as the Spitfires. I mean, if you're going to get a Spitfire, you got to get the Messerschmitt. And really, on a couple of them, I'd get the Messerschmitt. If I was only buying one, I'd buy the Messerschmitt 109 before I'd buy the Spitfire. The German plane is that cool. So far, I think I've posted three or four of these quick build videos. We had the Messerschmitt 109. We had a Spitfire. We had uh, a jet and another jet. And, and really, it's hard to remember anymore because... I've filmed all of them except two. We have two more airplanes to put together after this one, which we're putting together now, or just put together. And you may or may not remember, but there is a significance to the jet we're doing today, the Harrier jet. In a rant in a previous video where you guys called it a rant, but I called it a monologue in a previous video, I said, hey, they have cool jets, cool British jets, but how come they don't have the Harrier jet, which is the coolest out of all the jets that have ever come out of any the Harrier jet come on we need one I looked all over Amazon I looked all over the online retailers and I could not find one they just don't make it and then I happened to be on the Airfix quick build website and I found it and as luck would have it pretty much at the same time as I was there two different people sent me emails and said hey they got a Harrier jet and I had to say, yeah, I know, I found it 37 seconds ago. But really, it was about the same time I get these emails, and I think even a comment or two saying, they do make a Harrier jet. The same time I found it, I get these in. So first off, thank you out there, viewers, for letting me know, because I had to have this, and I saw it online, and then I ordered it, and bam, I got it. Granted, it took a week and a half to get it, but then again, it sat here for another couple weeks before we even started building it. And why do I think the Harrier Jump Jet is the best jet out there, the best one that came out of the Britain or the UK? Well, I'll tell you. Well, you guys know I was a U.S. Marine, and the U.S. Marines fly the Harrier Jets because they can take off straight up and down. Now, not all of the Marine Corps jets that are flown in the Marine Corps, not all of them can do that. And, you know, we're big on helicopters in the Marine Corps and the V-22 Osprey, the big helicopter transport airplane thing that can take off straight up and down. You need a jet can do that too, right? And really, it's all about close air support and short runways, and you can be out in the bush in a field and have just a little bit of a clearing, and you can get air support down there. They can, they can fly around and shoot at the bad guys. They can land. They can get refueled. It's all about close air support, which when compared to the U.S. Air Force, they will provide close air support, but really not in the same way. That's a whole different division of the military, and the Marine Corps flying their own jets to protect their own ground troops. And these Harrier jets really are amazing. Now, when it comes to this set, it was like pretty much every one of these quick build sets, it's going together easy, except this one had a little glitch on it. My lovely assistant, she couldn't get the wing pieces together. So I'm behind the camera watching and watching and watching and, you know, come on, get it together. You, you've already built a bunch of these. How come you can't get this one together? What's wrong? And she's trying, couldn't do it. Then finally, we had to stop the camera and I had to go look at it because I was just itching to get in there and just fix it. And then I saw what the problem is, oh, that's mighty peculiar. And I had to really mess around with this for almost, I don't know, almost five minutes, probably about three and a half, four minutes till I figured it out. It was pretty tricky. 
on the top and the bottom half of the wing segments up at the leading edge where you would normally you know crimp that down it looked like it goes in there but that's not what holds it you actually have to press it from pretty much in the center because that's where it's holding it mostly if you try to lock it down on the inside edge first down by the center it's just going to keep falling off and you'll never figure it out so you I squeezed it from the middle and sure enough it stayed I said what and then I popped the other edge in it was just pretty much order of operations do this part first and then this will work don't do this part first you will get mad and throw it on the ground and stomp on it it was bizarre because it's the first time we've ever experienced this at any of these quick build sets and if you haven't seen the instructions for these quick build sets before there really isn't a lot of writing on it you know the picture do this do that do this do that this is something they really need to put a note make sure you press in the center first or have a picture of fingers or a thumb and a finger pushing that together first so except for that little challenging twist this was just as easy as all the others and it looks just as cool and i was going to stop my lovely assistant from putting the stickers on it because i was going to put u.s marine corps stickers on it instead but she already put these stickers on it i'm sure later on we can peel those off and put some marine corps stickers on there right as you guys know i'm collecting the best lock daron passenger jets and it would be amazing if airfix would make passenger jets because i just throw those other ones away but I am almost done with those Daron best lock jets. There's only two or three more. The Continental jet is already filmed and ready to go. The Qantas jet still has not arrived from Australia. I paid a lot of money for it and it still isn't here yet. And then there's the SR-71 Blackbird that was missing two very big wing pieces, either two or four, I don't remember. And I might replace them with Lego pieces and then build it that way or I might just give up and throw it away. So when I found these Airfix jets, I said, oh, that's great, because I'm almost done with those crummy, horrible, quality best lock jets. But now I'm just about done with these quick build Airfix jets, and I'm thinking, oh, I hope they make some more really quick, because I'm almost done with them. And I guess when I do get done with these, finally, we can start making some really cool combat videos with them, and have them land on aircraft carriers and dog fights and flying around and put some special effects and explosions, maybe blow a few up or shoot them out of the sky. We can do some amazing things because they look very real. I guess we could do the exact same thing with those Daron Besslock passenger jets, but really it won't look that real. But I did stumble on something, and we'll do the video for that pretty soon. It was that old Mega Bloks really cool fighter. It's a really cool, amazingly realistic Megablox jet fire, the best I've ever seen. And it's funny, it was made in Canada, but I had to order it from Poland. It was sent to me from Poland, because a lot of the Megablox sets we get in the U.S. are all made in China. But all the Megablox sets that I've seen, the European Union markings on it, and the different things of the, the EU stuff on it, they're all made in Canada. That's funny. Yeah. So we have that, and I just put together the Kobe Boeing 737, and it's pretty cool. We can do a lot of things with it. And you know I'm a big fan of Kobe, and they make say they make a 737, a 747, a 767, a Dreamliner 777, but those things cost two or three hundred dollars here in the U.S. Oh yeah, I know. And as much as I love the Kobe 737, it doesn't really look like a 737. It could just be any old passenger jet. It's not distinctive 737. So is it a cool jet to play with? Oh yeah, it'll be cool to play with. It'll be fun, but would it go on a collectible shelf product line thing no that one won't go on the collectible product line thing like the kobe tanks are all right so what do you think uh, is this a cool set or not have you put any of these together yet i'm saying if you have not put any together yet go to the store buy one put it together and then make your decision because really these are that cool and if you do or when you do i should say when you do buy one of these and put it together number one you'll never want to put a standard model airplane or jet together again and you're never going to want to put a lego jet together again because this is the future of jets call it the marriage of the model world and the brick world together at least for jets so when it comes to jets and airplanes this is the future for all lego sets and brick sets and model sets no okay this isn't the future at least not yet but when it comes to this, these are amazing. I've only ever heard of one problem from a friend, and it was missing an important piece. Well, that's kind of a bummer. These are hard to get here in the U.S. You can get them on Amazon, but try to find them where you live. It might be easy. Though I did get a comment from someone who lives in the U.K. who says, Wow, you're getting them there? I can't find them! And they live there. So, you know, I don't know. But these are very cool. I would look for them, and then I would get my first one, and I would put it together, and I'd see what I think. Because if you want to make brick videos and you want to make brick films with jets and airplanes this is what you want these really are that cool are they many fig size no but you know a lot of these things aren't and certainly those uh, darn best lock ones aren't even though they come with a minifig 
All right, so it looks like my plane is starting to board. I'm going to wrap this up really quick. So leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, if you haven't seen these before, go out and see one. Go to your local hobby shop. If they don't have one, you say, hey, can you get some? Because you really want to see them. And maybe you'll even get lucky and your hobby shop will have some on display that they already put together. Or you could even ask the guy behind the counter, hey, do you have some? And I will build them for you and you can put them on display. That way you don't have to buy them. You can try them out before you buy them. So leave your comments in the comment section. And hey, as always, thanks for watching. We got a plane to catch. Bye. Does it shoot? Yes, it shoots. Now land it straight down. Beanmeister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.